Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Tomo's favorite channel. Here in Pune, Maharashtra, the rainy season is full swing in July. Today, we are going to Harihari shore, which is a part of Konkan beach facing the Arabian Sea. We are planning to go for one night two days for this trip. It is about 180 km from my house in Pune to the destination. Looking at Google Maps, it's about four and a half hours to drive. Pass through Pune City and enter National Way, Ford Road. On the way, there was a place under road construction and the road was a little crowded. After passing Manas Lake, green grassland spread in our view. In this season, when it rains, the fresh greenery spreads out on both sides. We could see many patties of rice. I think it's Indrani rice variety, which is a moist and a delicious rice that is a specialty of Maharashtra. We saw many people lining up to plant rice in the rice fields. After crossing the Murusi Dam, we entered Tamini Ghat. Tamini Ghat is a 15 km mountain road between Murusi and Tamini Mountains. This mountain range is dotted with scenic waterfalls. They are crowded with a lot of people, especially during this monsoon season, seeing the fresh water and natural waterfalls from the mountains, it is a perfect place for a road trip. The foggy at the top of mountain is getting thicker, so we take a break on the way. Warm chai, kanda pakora, and grilled corn are standard menu of the road trip. Even so, it is gorgeous to see such a magnificent view of multiple waterfalls splashing down from the rocky surface of mountain. After passing through the mountain road, go through the Maharashtra industrial area called MIDC and head to RB Beach. Finally, the ocean came to our view. We came to the restaurant 
called the Swayam Patil Kanawara for lunch. The restaurant looks like a private house and is running by a family. But the kitchen is clean and the chicken and fish tari are so delicious. Spicy soup curry with soup stock called lassa and indrani rice is the best combination. We arrived at the White Sand Beach Resort, where we will be staying today. It places on the Mangrove River and in front of RV Beach. We can't get sea view room, but we can go to the beach by foot. We can see the garden from the room. This hotel has just opened recently, so the inside of the room was also very clean and beautiful. If the weather is good, in the evening, RB Beach looks beautiful, like the picture on the wall. It was raining heavily that day, so we had dinner on the balcony in front of our room. The staff were very friendly and we had a heartwarming service. The next day, we had tea in the morning and then went to the beach. When the weather cleans up sometime, the beach dries up and turns into a white sand beach. There are no people due to the monsoon season, but the warm water temperature of the Arabian Sea seems to be suitable for swimming if the waves are calm. A local fisherman was casting a net to catch fishes. Luckily today, we have sun. We can see the clear sky and the sea. Looks beautiful. After breakfast, we checked out and head to the destination, Hariharishua Temple. It is located in a place surrounded by three hills and the Savitri River flows from the town of Hariharishua to the Arabian Sea, and the temple faces on the north of the town. It has been blessed by Lord Siva. On the way, we visited Srivardhan Beach. Srivardhan Beach has a well-maintained sidewalk, and as local people say, many tourists visit from October to February. At last, we arrived at Hariharishua, we visited Dakshin Kashi, which means the house of God. I couldn't take pictures inside the temple, but it was a historical temple built in the cliff. After puja, we drink coconut juice on the way home. When we left the temple along the coast, we could see the vast Arabian Sea. Since the high tide was approaching, I could feel the splash of the sea waves on my skin. Thanks for we could see another new place in India, the starting point of our Konkan Beach tour. Thank you for watching. See you soon.